Hi, Chef Colin Roach here. Today we're at Turks and Caicos, and this show is all about conch. We're going to show you how to open it, how to clean it, and how to eat it. So stay tuned. The Turks and Caicos Islands are a British overseas territory which consists of 40 different islands and Ks. However, only eight are inhabited. And as you can see here on the left side of the map, they are situated in the Caribbean, just below the Bahamas in the British West Indies. They are very accessible and only about an hour and a half flight from Florida. Now on the right side of the slide, you can see Providenciales, or Provo as it is affectionately known which is considered the main tourist center of the Turks and Caicos. This is also where my family and I stayed, specifically in the area of Grace Bay, where we rented a house. Here's a picture of our view off our deck. That is beautiful Grace Bay off in the distance. 12 miles of Provo's shoreline is home to this world famous Grace Bay, one of the most widely acclaimed beaches in the world. Now, the house was located directly across from the Windsong Resort, which is a four-star resort located in Provo, directly on a snorkeling reef, which is only about 20 yards offshore. And my family went out there and checked it out. It's part of the National Underwater Coral Marine Park. We actually shared a path to the beach with the resort, as you can see here. Now, isn't this beautiful? There is the beach. This is Grace Bay. Look, as far as you can see, beautiful blue-green turquoise water and lovely white sand beach. Of course, Finnegan loved running in the water and playing on the beach. One of the things I found fascinating was these sandstone walls, these mini breakwater cliffs which were everywhere. You can see where the waves have broken them down and left these cool lines and patterns in them. Definitely something we don't see along our Florida beaches. Okay, so now that we're here, it's time for conch. And we have learned that there is a conch farm not too far from here. So we pack everyone up in the rental van and head to the other side of the island, following the Leeward Highway east to the end of Grace Bay. Caicos Conch Farm, here we come. Conch is an important national symbol of the Turks and Caicos, being one of the three symbols on their flag, which was officially adopted in 1968. As an overseas territory of the United Kingdom, the islands fly the UK flag with a coat of arms shield on it. The coat of arms shield displays a conch shell and a spiny lobster, which represents the local fishing industry, and a flowering cactus representing the local flora. Now on the drive over to the conch farm, we made a quick stop at the Ports of Call Resorts shops, where numerous restaurants and stores are located, including the Skull Rock Cantina. What a cool sign, huh? Well, there's also a small pirate-themed courtyard here that the boys loved interacting with, as you can see from these pictures. Pirates are a big part of the Turks and Caicos history, as this area was a huge hangout for them in the 1700s. This was a fun stop for the boys. Today, only a few countries export conch to the United States, and the Turks and Caicos is one. Conch, however, is becoming endangered due to overfishing, and the Caicos Conch Farm on Provincial was the world's only conch farm. Unfortunately, the conch farm has seen a bit of decline from what it once was after Hurricane Ike struck the island in 2008, which was the beginning of its demise. Subsequent hurricanes, like Irma, provided the final blows by pretty much destroying the property and closing it for good. Here is how it looks today. The good news is all is not lost. We found out from some of the locals that there's a local restaurant located right on the beach that prepares and serves fresh conch. 
It's called De Conk Shack, and it's located on Blue Hills Road right here in Provo. So off we go. Let's check it out. So we've arrived. Here we are at the De Conk Shack, which is awesome. We're ready to see it harvested, cut up, and served to us fresh. Before we move forward, though, I do want to see, say, you know, it's pronounced conk. And even though it's spelled C-O-N-C-H, and many people would think it should be pronounced conch, it's not. It's more pronounced like K-O-N-K, conk. And again, it's an edible marine snail that's very popular throughout the Caribbean. If you don't crack it, you cannot. It's very short to come out. When you try to pull out, you cannot. It's very short to come out. Get, get, get a yeah, you, you cannot. You get a plant, you cannot. You cannot. <laughs> Queen conch produce beautiful shells. Unfortunately, in order to remove the animal from the shell, one needs to crack the top of the shell to break the seal that the animal creates so that it can then be pulled out of that shell. This, of course, damages the aesthetic value of the shell. Well, what is it, like a suction in there that won't release it until you crack a hole and the air gets in? Then it releases it. So this is the conch shell, and you can see right here it has a little hole in it, and that's where you're going to hit it with the hammer to release the pressure in it so you can pull the actual conch from its shell. If you don't, you don't crack it, you cannot. It's never coming out. No, you cannot. You could break the shell, you cannot. Just one side, just... Now, conch are scavengers that scour the seafloor for food, eating mostly scraps they find and the occasional small fish that may swim into their open shells. Those are all females? That one's... Yeah, that one is female. That one is male. It's the penis here, that one is male. It's the penis here, that one is male. It's what? A male. It's the penis here, that one is male. The male conch and female look different. That one is female conch. Oh, okay. It tastes them, it looks different. Which one's better? It tastes them, it tastes them. Same? Same. Conch have separate sexes and mate approximately nine times a year between March and October. And although a female conch in the wild will usually lay an egg mass of about 500,000 eggs, only about one egg out of that 500,000 will usually mature into an adult. How old is this? Uh, I want it 10 years, 10 years and 12 years. Yeah, 10 years and 12 years. Oh. 10 years and 12 years, yeah, the big man. And it takes three to four years for conch to mature enough to be suitable for consumption, though many are much older. Ten years old, you say? Yeah, I want ten years. Old. What can you harvest them? Around three, four years? Or you gotta wait till ten? Five years or six years. This, they made too small. Too small. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Then you just dump the shells right there. Yeah. Make like a little reef. Yeah. With a lot of shells. Ah. Uh, Due to the extremely hard nature of the shells, broken conch shells have been used in a variety of ways. Early settlers to the Turks and Caicos would burn and grind the shell to create plaster and stucco for walls. And due to their extremely hard nature, broken shells have also been used to line the tops of walls to prevent people from climbing over. It's like the way you would use barbed wire or broken glass on top of a wall. More recently, local craftsmen have been using the broken shells to create bathroom and kitchen countertops that are just beautiful. And then they use the rest for chum, catching that, fish? That, yeah, that, that one, I, I use that one for fish. So you take the kayak out to get them, and then when yeah. you come back, how do you get on the kayak with 250 of these? You sit on top yeah, of them? I just, <laughs> I get 300, sometimes I get 200. How you I fit? Get two trips. <laughs> you, you can fit on the kayak yeah. with them, put them on your lap? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's how you could do it. That's the waste. Fish bait, yeah. 
It's like the your internal organs, right? The guts. That's and you, stuff. Can, you catch fish with that. You catch fish with it. Yeah. You just want the meat. That one for salad. If you, you, want, you want kang salad, you get tomato, you get sick pepper, you get onion, you get lemon juice to make kang salad like that. The fresh kang is very sweet. You want to try this? Look at try. Yeah. It's very sweet. You want to try guys? You want to try? Yeah. Yeah. Try. It's very sweet man. It's good. A little lime, a little yeah, pepper. Yeah, Right? Nothing. Yeah. Nice sushi. Yeah. <laughs> it's very sweet. Similar coconut. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you just get them out here or someplace? No, no. You see the white light? That's it. Where did you say? Right where those reef is where that white, white waves. Oh, way out there where the yeah. water is breaking. Yes. He went out and got these today. Out there where the waves are. He goes out every day with the kayak. Gets 500 of them. Yeah. <laughs> On this kayak? Yeah. Yeah, I just need some time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And he collected all these? Yeah. He free dives, gets them at those waves, brings them in, wow. cuts them open. Wow. Mm, that's so yummy. He said anybody can go out there and get them. So you do two trips a day and 250 yeah. each trip? Yeah, I just sometimes make 200. There must be thousands out there then. Uh, that's why they move in the ocean. Oh, that's their foot thing. Yeah, yeah that's, they that's, that's why they move in the ocean. Yeah, that's how cool. Wow. You could, you could bring, bring all the shell, you, you, you cannot put, put one cut out, you cannot, you cannot. This is too much suction, you gotta release the pressure. You crack it, it's easy to come. Wow. It's easy to come. You try it, you try it. Pull it out? No, don't pull that out. Reach in there and pull it. And here's Finnegan getting in on the action. Put it on the table. Right there with the rest of them. Look at that, huh? I'm a big believer in, you know, letting your kids get involved, let them learn, let them know where their food actually comes from. Do you hit it with a certain spot with the hammer? Yeah. You loosen it? You can put quick the shell, you cannot. You cannot. Just one side. Just one side. Just crack it. Okay, I think I've seen enough, and now it's my time to get in there and give it a try myself. So as you can see here, you first need to take the hammer or other tool and make a small crack or hole into the shell. And then you insert something sharp, in this case he's using a butter knife, in there to break that seal. Usually it seems to do it three times, kind of in there and kind of releasing, popping a hole into that, releasing the suction so then you can pull the animal out. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now Charlie gets in on the action and gives it a try himself. Excellent job.
three times, Charlie. Yes. Pull it. <laughs> He's your apprentice. <laughs>